Well, holy molten lava fudge cake. Damn. After a week of absence, Azure Lane comes back, hitting hard with the vengeance. Like, hold, like. This episode was completely battle-oriented, but despite that, you can just feel the tension, the the rise up, you know, how they have it when you're about to go into battle, you're going to have that big war, that changing battle, which completely changes the entire, which got straight, much the entire situation of the anime, of a show, a story, wherever. And everyone's just there, you know, talking to their sisters, you know, and then you see Enterprise, where Enterprise is like, you know, she's come a long way, and I keep saying this, but I'm going to keep saying it is how she's a completely different person now. But she hasn't figured everything out just yet. Her and Belfast have become just the best of friends, and I'm just loving it. Javelin's still Javelin. At least she knows what she doesn't know what to do, but she's just going to face it forward. Good for her. Then you have the other side, of course. Seems like the Royal Navy don't have much really going on. They're like, we're here. We're awesome. We're fabulous and elegant. Then, of course, you have the Soccer Empire without anybody else. I think it's just really the Soccer Empire. They will hire, I guess, Red Axes. I mean, not Red Axes, but the Iron Blood Fleet. But most of the time, it's just Soccer Empire and no one else, really. It's just really in its battle this time. They get the Black Mental Cube. And everyone knows they're doing things for the sake of their country. But at the same time, you have where everyone's very suspicious of the leaders, especially Akagi. Kaga herself is undying loyalty, which is completely blind, which is not a good thing in some cases, you know. Because you could be using being used, and you're probably glad you're being used, but just remember, you're going to get screwed in the end. So the battle is going off, and we get to see almost everybody, people you're familiar with, people you're not familiar with, just doing everything they can in order to fight. Just, just putting out all the stops, man. Very good. CGI itself was amazing. It was spectacular. You see mostly the stronger fleets. Zuyukaku, of course, gets cut again. She wants to have her rivalry against the Great Ghost. But no matter how hard she tries, um, Enterprise is not interested in you. I'm sorry, honey. You're just not that interesting. <laughs> you had your fight on episode two. But that's it. After that, Enterprise is like, I'm done with you, I'm done with you, I'm, I'm half bigger fish to fry, and that's Akagi, because she's the one with a sinister plan, who's, you know, she's using the siren technology with battleships, she's even has a black cube, well, they have the black mental cube now, but it was some idea, of course, I already knew that the siren, who, what her name was, got, was already using them. I saw it, we saw it coming, it was a no-brainer. So whatever happens, happens. We knew it was going to happen, one way or another. But the way it went about it was very interesting. And of course, I forgot to say this. War. War never changes. I swear to God, they used that quote so much in this anime, especially in the beginning of the show. And it, it really has that fallout vibe, you know? No matter what age you are, even humans have nothing to do with it. There are no humans whatsoever all this thing, but it's just ships disguised as humans, and they're fighting. In a way, it, re it reminds me a lot of near um, Automata, Automata, whatever you want to call it. Near where um, there are no humans or even aliens, but it's just um, robots, machines, well, mainly androids and machines, and they're fighting each other. They're fighting each other for a faceless god that's nowhere to be around. They, okay, they, they created the ships. The question is, is do, will you ever see a human ever in the Azure Lane? Probably not. But it would be cool if the humans were all dead and they're just fighting but with the will of mankind inside them. But uh, other than that, it's there's nothing really to fight over because all the humans are gone. That would be pretty twisted. <laughs> but hey, that's just me. I like that. I like those edgy, dark twists. They really, really make a satisfying story for me. Anyways, Enterprise going at it, and Belfast was having her own thing. So Belfast was really fighting Akagi, and Koga was fighting Enterprise. And what happened? 
It's the visions. It's, it's when Enterprise first touched the Black Cube and a couple episodes ago, or was the last episode, and she had that vision where she saw herself as something else, like a siren. And one of the sirens was observing the entire situation, like, welcome back. So they knew who Enterprise was, who her, whatever Enterprise is. She turned into that thing, glowing eyes, sinister look, completely wiped out Koga, whatever happened to her, that flashlight. Who knows what happens when that light went flash? Hopefully something happens. Someone has to die. Come on. You can't have a, a very tenseful story like this and nobody dies, man. It's ridiculous. Even in Katon collection, they had someone dying in there, man. Um, so you gotta you got have people in this one die, too. It would only make sense. Not just for saving it happening, but to show how tenseful, how serious... The situation is, you know? That's the best way to do it. Well, anyways, she turns into this form. And in complete guns with Koga. And also with Akagi. And she's, of course, she's in the land of the spider lilies. Which usually means um, change through tragedy or something like that. No. And she sees her sister, um, Agami. But she has no face. But she says, your work is not done yet. After the credits. Of course, in anime today, you always gotta sometimes watch even after the credits. And I hate that. I hate how you, know, you gotta watch this after the credits. Okay, I, I like this because I'm okay with the outro song. It's nice. It's settling. I'm okay with it. But sometimes you have those very crappy outros you don't care about. You just don't feel like trying to skim through it like that. You just want to exit out the video. But you can't. You just gotta go afterwards, you have to have the crits. And this one it shows Akagi, so Akagi's not dead. It's I guess because she's still the main one of the main bad guys. But it would have been interesting if she were to die and someone takes her place as main antagonist. That would have been pretty interesting, but um, I guess not, you know. But I guess this really holds the place as more dire situation this time. Um things still weren't sell, especially between Jab and Laffy along with um, Ayanami, they didn't even see each other this time in the fight, and I don't think they really fought. They were more just on standby, really. The other, the main ships were fighting, you know, just doing what they had to do in order to survive. Cleveland and her sisters were doing some battling, and they were pretty good. When I saw those torpedoes, um, missiles coming at them, I'm like, oh, snap. They, they about to get sunk. Nope. They dodged it. <laughs> I felt like Cleveland. But yeah, I gotta name ones I do like. Okay. I like Belfast. She's awesome. I like Laffy. And I like Cleveland. And that's... Oop. And I guess Zuyokaku. Despite the fact that she keeps getting cut and blocked by everybody else. She just wants that gray ghost, baby. But she can't get it. She can't get it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very, very tense episode. Very dire in the situation. It was good. I love every man of it. Um, ton of action, and at the same time, you can feel everyone's emotion within the fight. You know, how everyone was just feeling. So hopefully, where to go from here, though, you know? This is only a 12-episode series, so where is it to go from here? What will they do? I'm very curious. So anyways, that's what I got for this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, and you enjoyed my content, and you like what I do, like, comment, subscribe, and of course... Hit that bell icon if it still rings. This has been Marathon on Anime. Signing out.